The Roxy Theatre. Opened nearly a century ago, the Art Deco Heritage Listed Theatre is one of the oldest of its type still operational in Australia. Judy Nolan says the dear old lady has been impressing Leeton locals and visitors for years. And the Roxy always gets wonderful um, comments from the uh, adjudicators. They walk in and they just go, wow. And I love them doing that because that's what I think too when I walk in. We moved to the Estedford into here in about 1975 because up till that point our numbers weren't enough. We couldn't get enough people through the door to pay the rent. But um, once we got going and the Estedford got a name throughout New South Wales and Australia too, I think, as we're a member of AESA, um, the Australian Civil of Australia and they advertise our Stedford, so we do get people from all around the state and of course New South Wales and Victoria coming, so it has got a name for itself now. It's not something you don't go to another town and see the same thing and it's just um, well, it's basically Leeton, as far as I'm concerned. Doesn't matter what we have here, it, the rocks is usually part of it. it. To have this in a town of this age, um, I think is amazing, really. It's a fabulous place to come. It's the centre of town. It's like our uh, Leeton Town Hall, in fact. Well, the theatre was opened in 1930. It was built by a local gentleman named George Conson at the uh, huge amount of 15,000 pounds. And uh, George operated it then as a, as a theatre until the 1970s when it was uh, put on sale. A lot of locals were very concerned about what would happen to the theatre. Would it become a supermarket or be demolished? So a public appeal was put together and that raised about $27,000 towards the purchase price of 75,000. And in 1978, Leetonshire Council put money to the project and purchased the building and turned it into a community-run and managed movie theatre. The old lady has withstood the test of time and has captured the hearts and minds of generations of Leetonians. Her sheer size and presence has cemented her place as the wise observer of the history of the town. It's so easily identifiable uh, it's at the centre of town for a lot of people in Leeton as well. It's the centre of their lives too. We've had this uh, very long uh, heritage, if, if you like, of performance arts, Stedford, uh, music and dance. Leeton was built on hard work. It was built as part of the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Scheme. Workers toiled for months carving channels and canals to carry water from the Murrumbidgee River to their farms. This water sustained their livelihoods, but the Roxy sustained their spirits. Quite extraordinary when we, we think about um, how the Murrumbidgee irrigation area was formed, um, the digging of those channels. Um, the soil is a heavy soil, so it's, and you can imagine coming in and often they're living in tents or they're living in um, corrugated iron, the heat's blistering at 45, and they come in here um, for a night of respite with their girlfriend. And that's, that sort of underpins the period of the architecture. It's a very adventurous, exciting, dynamic um, period of architecture, but also it's the relationship between function and form. One of the things that architecture and, and heritage building is that it teaches us, teaches us about love and will the love of, of what we can express as human beings and the will to transform it and manifest it in a structure and a, um, a, a form such as this. It's, it's something that stimulates the senses and that sense of um, stimulating the imagination of possibility. And when you come to the theatre, and that's what the arts does, it stimulates and reflects on what might be possible within us but also um, what we can create ourselves.
that's the real bond and connection it has this community and for the for the future generations it'll be different again.